Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So on this channel over here I cover game development, I'm sharing my own journey, making my own games, and also teaching you how to make your own games. And specifically I use Unity to build all of this. However, Unity is not just a game engine. Unity is really simply just a rendering engine, meaning it's a program that helps you render things on screen, either in 2D or 3D. So that means you can make all kinds of programs inside of Unity, not just games. Think of Unity as simply a place where you can write and run your C-sharp code, and using that code you can do whatever you want. I myself have built a bunch of things that are not games in Unity. The most useful thing I've made is my livestream overlay. So during my live streams, I have the characters walking on the bottom of the screen, and they're saying what people are saying in chat. Now this is not a game, but it is made with Unity. I've made tutorials on how all of this works. So first, this is a transparent Unity window. So it uses Unity, makes the background transparent, and overlays it on top of my desktop. Then it's coupled with an HTTP request from inside Unity for contacting the YouTube API that reads the people in chat and what they are saying. And then for the characters themselves, they are animated using mesh-based animations. So just using a mesh and modifying it up and down. And for the randomization on the characters, that's the exact same thing that I use in my game, Battle Royale Tycoon. And same thing for the second window that I use for controlling the main window. On this window, I can see a list of characters, I can start a poll, I can modify the characters, change anything, highlight something, and so on. So it's a real nice control window that is connected to the other one. I made a video for how I actually made that connection. It's using a C-sharp named pipe. And again, this second window, this is a regular program. It is not a game at all. So both these things, both of these are made with Unity, but they are not games. I've also previously made another tutorial on another non-game topic on how to make a game launcher in Unity. So you can essentially use Unity to create a launcher to launch all of your various projects. So kind of like a CV, basically just a menu with some nice simple visuals that then runs whatever executable you have. I did something business like this on my Learn Game Development CMAP. I made this a few years ago. It has a nice mini window that again is not a game and just has a bunch of links, a bunch of buttons for selecting all kinds of things. So you can play the various mini games that I've made. You can see references for all the various tutorials, download the project files and so on. It even has interactive tutorials for learning about game design, C Sharp and so on. So again, this one is not really a game, but it was made with Unity. A long time ago, I also used it to make a standalone program for tracking my weight and my body fat percentage. I used the exact same graph that I built for my game Battle Royale Tycoon. I used that graph and then I tracked my weight on a CSV file and just loaded that and used that to display a nice visual of the graph. So that was really interesting. I basically was able to reuse code that I made in one of my games and use that to do something very interesting outside of games. Or more recently, I built a companion project for my C-sharp course. So this one again is made in Unity, but it's not a game. It's a companion project with lots of questions, interactive exercises, and so on. So very interesting, built in Unity, built in C-sharp, but not a game. So as you can see, Unity can be used for so much more than just making games. If you have Unity knowledge, then you can use that same knowledge to build more than just games. There was an interesting post on Reddit talking about exactly this. So does anyone here use Unity not for games? By the way, I mentioned this thread in my Game Dev Report newsletter. That's where I write about the latest news in game dev tech and gaming, as well as interesting articles and videos that I come across. So if you want to hear about all the interesting game dev things that I come across, definitely go ahead, check the link in the description and sign up. So here on this post it says, I'm curious to know if anyone here is using Unity for any software purposes other than games. So simulation, using it as a 3D engine in another way. So just curious, have thought about some ways I could use Unity and I'm curious to know how you guys might be using it. And yeah, there is quite a lot of responses to this, quite a lot of people are using it in many, many different ways. So for example, this developer made a pixel filter for a mobile camera that renders a JPEG on a shutter snap. Also made an app that populates virtual objects within a radius on, based on the user's geolocation. This developer used it for simulation of a robot, that is really awesome. So basically to prove the correctness and safeness of the IK path planner, and then to replay the record data from the real one in the workshop. So this is really awesome for using basically virtual simulations. So before you actually build the robot in real life, you train it in a virtual environment, make sure everything works, and then you build the actual real world thing. This is a really awesome use case. And again, since Unity can just render something, rendering a virtual robot with all of the correct physics, that is actually rather simple and can be very useful when applied to the real life thing. Then also very commonly used for AR and VR industrial training. This is something that definitely has quite a lot of interesting use cases. This developer used it to make a 3D model of a new building area, something that could be synced with GPS position. So I imagine they mean something like using AR, so you can go to some kind of building site, put on some AR glass, and you can actually see the final building being built. And something simple, making an app that works like a dice thrower. So you flip the phone and roll some dice. So something very simple, very basic, but works great. And thanks to Unity already having 3D physics and 3D rendering, this is actually something that would be quite simple to build. This developer made a 2D app for a museum that displays a collection with a spatial, like in the screens to the space navigation. So another great use case, if you have some kind of museum or some kind of gallery or something like that, you can make an app that works alongside it so that every time the person goes to watch some kind of art sculpture, it can easily show all the detail, all the videos and everything related to that thing. Then something really awesome is this developer made a controller that sent API calls over a local network to some Raspberry Pi devices. And basically they were making some spooky electronics like a flashlight that I could control remotely. 
or an EMF detector, I could make flash at will. So that's really awesome. That is another really excellent thing. That is actually something that I personally would love to find the time to work on, basically combining Unity with some Raspberry Pi. So basically building some electronic stuff using Raspberry Pis or Arduinos, and then just using Unity to make some kind of mobile app to basically control it by controlling all of those, either through a local network, Bluetooth, or something like that. So lots of really interesting answers, really interesting use cases over here. And then of course, Unity themselves also talk about a lot of these non-game use cases. They've got an entire industry skew that is pretty much all about this. So they use Unity for building things in like AC, so architecture, engineering, and construction. There's a lot of stuff they do in automotive. It is used in manufacturing, retail and commerce, government, energy, and a bunch more. And down here we can see some really interesting demos. So Audi apparently used it to make an AR experience, apparently showing some kind of thing related to the car. Then someone made an immersive app for the Apple Vision Pro, talking about some kind of tequila brand and how it's built. Then more car stuff, Mercedes-Benz used Unity to render a lot of really pretty graphics over here on the car's dashboard. Then Walmart also used it to make recently a virtual Walmart, something where you can actually go into a virtual world and buy some stuff. And Volvo has also been using Unity for quite a while to make a lot of things. So you have lots of non-game things you can build with Unity. Like I said, Unity is really just a rendering engine where you can easily render 2D or 3D. So if you already have knowledge of Unity and C Sharp, just remember you can use that knowledge to make things more than just games. Now, if you're interested in growing your skills beyond just game development, then knowing C Sharp and knowing it very well is an extremely powerful skill. And if you want to learn everything the language has to offer, then go ahead and check out my complete C Sharp course. This one covers absolutely everything, starting from the basics for beginners, so things like ifs, variables, data types, and so on. Then it covers the intermediate section with lots of interesting stuff, things like interfaces, events, generics, and so on. And then on the advanced section, this one covers even more advanced stuff, so things like reflection, multi-threading, extensions, and so on. There are free video lectures over here on YouTube, but if you can afford it, the premium version is really awesome because it has the companion project. This one includes frequently asked questions, quizzes, and interactive exercise so you can learn by doing. It includes that alongside a bunch of other awesome bonuses. All right, so go ahead and use your game dev skills to build non-game things inside of Unity. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.